Good evening, everyone. For the past three years of my life, I have been walking for 15 minutes from where I live to where I study. While walking every morning, I would have these images in my mind, a dream, that one day I'm going to see my dream come to a reality, which is standing on a stage and speaking up for the first time and having people listening to me. In my dream, I would have an audience, and in that audience is my parents. And for the first time in my life, I can say with confidence that they are proud of me. I knew that that dream was not going to come a reality just by waking up the next morning. No. I knew I had to be part of something great. I had to fight for something. I had to be the change. We're all here tonight to be told that we need to be the change, and I can't agree more. But I'm not here to tell you what you need to change. I'm here to tell you how to become part of the change. Your passions, your dreams, your goals will set you on a road that will allow you to change the world. I strongly, I strongly believe that great change is a collection of dreams that were never given up on and believed in. A year ago, I was taking a computer security course. And I became really interested in wireless security, and I still am. I wondered how many people in the UAE, where I study, have a secure wireless network. So I went to one of my friends who was also taking that course with me at that time. And my first question to him was, do you have a car? His answer was yes. I told him I'm working on a project called war driving. War driving is the process of driving around in your car with a bacon sniffing software. Bacon sniffing softwares allow you to steal important information about wireless devices all around you. Information such as SSID, MAC addresses, channel numbers, and more important information that if they are stolen can compromise your network. I will emphasize more later with an example on the risk of somebody stealing your bacon frame. But at that time, my friend got really excited. So we set, up, we set off to Dubai, Sharjah, and Abu Dhabi. And after two weeks of working really hard and driving around all the UAE, we were able to sniff more than 60,000 bacon frames. We got really excited, and I decided to go back, and I, want, I wanted people to see this epidemic in the UAE, to see this bad security that we have in the UAE. So I decided to create a website, which, has, which I called UAE War Drive a very simple website that allows people in the UAE to visit the website and search for wireless devices all around the UAE using different filters that I have created, filters such as SSID, MAC addresses, channel numbers, and many more. Now, what are the risks of somebody stealing your bacon frame? Imagine two radio stations working on the same frequency. I'm sure many of us have noticed this before while driving in our car and turning on our radio would hear this annoying noise, shh. This noise happens when two radio stations are working on the same frequencies. Both stations will get distorted and you won't be able to hear any of them. The same thing goes to wireless devices. If you have two wireless devices working on the same channel number, either both of them will get distorted or one of them is going to break down. Now let's say I have a company that I hate really very much and I want to break down. First of all, I will go to this website. I will click one on one of the options that I have created. For example, if I clicked on SSID. Once you click on SSID, it will take you to a Google map page. In that page, I placed a search engine. In that search engine, you can type any name you want. For example, here, I typed the word bank. And as you can see, I, it showed me all the banks that we were able to sniff at that time of our project. I clicked at one of the clicked on one of the banks, and it was Russell Khema Bank. Now, since I know I'm, I'm a bad guy, and I know that banks can lose a lot of money just by their network shutting down for five minutes at least, I know that their channel number, they're working on channel number six. Now, all I have to do is just go back, buy a wireless device, set that wireless device to channel number six, take that device and place it close to Russell Khema Bank wireless devices, turn on that device and keep sending empty packages and garbage to that wireless device till channel number six gets overloaded and their network breaks down. This is a very serious issue in security world. 
this type of attack is called denial of service attack. I took that data back to my professor, who's also a, a security consultant for Abu Dhabi government. He was very impressed, and he, ha he asked us if we can take this data and present it to officials in Abu Dhabi. Of course, we had to say yes if we wanted the A, but at that time, I was really happy. And for the first time, I, s I saw myself as a change in what seemed as a security issue in the UAE. I knew that this was just the beginning to see my dream come to a reality. And I knew that I had to look for more issues in the regions and try to be part of them. Last summer, I was fortunate enough to work uh, with Microsoft, a leading company in uh, software intelligence. I was, part of the, I was part of the application development team here in the Middle East. My assignment was to come up with an application that could be helpful to people all around the world. It's really hard to be creative in a very short time of period, which was my internship period. But I was very fortunate when one day I came up with the idea of Musaada. I was born and I lived my whole life in Qatar. It's always emotional when you see the place where you lived in your whole life, your home, to be one of the fastest developing countries in the world. I always wanted to be part of this change. And by me creating Musaada was my way of saying, saying, I want to be part of this change. I have what it takes to be part of the change. Musaada is a mobile application that allows the public of Qatar to request government services more easier and smooth. As you can see, a really very simple application with a simple interface. The application has four options. Two of the options are requesting services such as police, faza, and the ambulance. If you click at any of the options, it will take you to a page. In that page, they will ask you for information such as your name, your full name, your contact information, and what do you need the musaada in. Once you click the submit, your information with your current location will be sent automatically to either the police or the musaada if this is what you're looking for. One day I received a phone call from one of my friends and he told me that his car broke down in the middle of the road and he needs my help. So I went, I rushed to help him. And I kid you not, it, take a, it took us more than three hours just for somebody to answer our phone call and somebody to come and help us to tow the car. So on the same night, I came with a new idea, which is to add a new option to my application, which is called towing services. In towing services, you have to fill, you fill your full name, your phone number, and just click Submit. By clicking Submit, your information with your current location will be sent to all towing services in Qatar. And anybody who is ready to help you and anybody who is close to you can respond to your request. Another day, I was hanging around with my friends, drinking karak. And we were beside one of the shops here in Qatar. And we saw that one of the sh car shades in one of the shops here just fell down on the cars under it. So I thought to myself, where are the p officials that should be monitoring such events? So on the same second, I came up with a new idea, which is to add a new option to my application. And it is the Ministry of Municipality. A very simple page that all you have to do is just take a picture of what you think should be addressed by the ministry. Once you take the picture, the picture will be geotagged, which means that the location in which the picture was taken will be attached to that picture. And you can just simply hit submit. Qatar is developing to be one of the fastest developing countries in the world, and all of us can be part of this change. Me, as a computer engineer, will try my best to come up with the best technologies to, heads, to help set Qatar as an icon of a smart city. Civil engineers will try their best to come up with better buildings to, ab to be able to accommodate a large flowing number of people and to help set Qatar as an icon of prestige and luxury. Businessmen, well, they will do their best to keep the money in their pockets. But all of us following our dreams, and through our dreams, we become the change. I'm really fortunate today to be able to stand here and talk. It was one of my dreams that I was talking about. 
I'm really happy to see my father here, and I'm sure he's proud of me today. I, can st I still cannot forget the faces of the people who looked at me and told me that I will never make it, or laughed at me when I told them about my dreams and my goals. I was never angry of, of these people, no. Instead, I took that as a positive thing. It motivated me, it made me stronger, it made me want to be what I want to be. So achieve, run after your goals, and fight, and always speak up, and never give up on what you believe in. I strongly believe that a person with a closed mouth will never get fed. Thank you.